you get yourself permission for big chunks of land like this and you hike it all the time inch by inch follow every wall climb every hill read every sign Wow, there's a lot more snow out there than I was expecting. Well, hey everybody, welcome to another Not Thursday in New Hampshire. Today is a curiosity day. Today is actually a day where the woods are going to be a little bit trickier than I was planning. Because this area is covered with a lot more snow than where we were we did that triple C video. And speaking of that day when I got out of the woods, that snow came down like you would not believe, white out conditions. All right, so here's what we're doing today. We're doing the classic standby of follow the walls, something everybody should do if they have walls in their area, especially old walls. So, this massive piece of property that we have access to is loaded with all kinds of textures. Flat, rocky, hilly, up, down. It's just huge. And with all the years of doing this, haven't even come close to exploring it all. We have found a few colonial sites out there but today we're going up here oh, that's better so this wall running off to the east I've always gone that way Running off to the west, I've only gone a short distance. See over here at this point, comes up corners to the north. So why am I doing it? The obvious reason, I'm exploring. These walls go back to the 1700s. I've never been out there. And I like to know the big picture. I like to be able to look out way off in the distance of the hillside and say, I know where that is. And over there, topographic maps have always shown a nice rise, a nice hill. And I think this wall goes right up over it to it, whatnot. But that's today's objective. See what's out there. Wow, we had such a cold snap in the last few days, I hadn't been out filming, that the spots where it's like six to eight inches deep of snow, it's frozen. I can just walk right on top of it. Yeah, we got hammered the other day, but yeah, look at all that land out there. Could be anything out there. So this is as far as I have ever gone on this wall. And uh, I don't know if you can tell on camera there, but woof, that goes into a rocky gorge, but the wall keeps going and then shoots back up over there. So this is one of those, I've been thinking about it for years and uh, today's the day to do it. Holy mackerel. Wow, you know, you can never tell on video, but that wall is climbing up quite the grade.
This is crazy. So look at this. Probably not the most brilliant place to be standing, but this one rock, you just pull the pin and down comes the mother load. Seriously, this rock is what's holding all of that up there. And it's probably been there for, uh, well, first guy was in this area in 39 of 17. So almost 300 years. Bam. That's steep. Oh. I have to switch lanes here. Yeah, this for us around here is definitely the signs of colonial buildage. They weren't clear in this land. That's a, you know, property line grant marker. This is Mayan kind of wall. Geez, I don't know if this is where and what I'm looking for. Definitely adding up. And it just keeps going up. Interesting little nook, about 60 feet across, yeah, that's odd. I say odd because they didn't square off from there to here, it's just inlets or outlets, a little piece. All right, that is the lift we are looking for. That's been the goal. Follow this wall till it goes up to the top and uh, see what it looks like. Simple enough. Wow. If anything is shouting uh, home site buildable. This is definitely it. Amazing going through all of that awfulness down there to find this little oasis of nice land. an open spot like that <clears throat> easily could have sat a small early settlers cabin that could be a footprint obviously we'll need the metal detector to figure that out but it's taken me so long to get here years wise uh, there's a trail that cuts along that ridge up there and this wall we know for a fact, continues up and right over that. It's, it's unbelievable how steep it is over there, but we've just never put the two ends together. You can't tell with the snow and coverage if this is a small wall, you know, like a living space kind of wall. That is a large older tree, obviously. But the point I'm making is, it's perfect. That just looks shouldered. Nice and flat. Oh yeah. 
and you Mr. Sunshine today feel wonderful. Thanks for being here buddy. Wow, huge. Another big old one standing there. From what I can see, the wall that we followed up continues on up and over, but it also tees off. So we've got two squares here. This is the side we were just on with the flat spot and old trees. We'll look around this side, but this is beautiful out here. And I've done a good percentage of, you know, up there, over there. Didn't know it was this nice in here. See, and even on this side of the wall, <clears throat> it looks and feels completely different. You know, there's a big part in what was going on in the land way back when as to how it grows back now. Hard packed ground, living space ground, work ground definitely doesn't grow back the same as field, old field. All right, objective complete. The next step will be to bring the metal detector back up here and comb the ground, see if there's anything in the ground. And you know, people, the number one email question I get is, how do I go about finding the type of sites that you metal detect. This is how you do it. You get yourself permission for big chunks of land like this and you hike it all the time. Inch by inch, follow every wall, climb every hill, read every sign. And as you all know, you get lucky every now and then. This is just gonna have to wait a little bit. Probably have to get out here in the April to May window before it turns into jungle and after the ground is free. All right, everybody, get out, explore your world, take in some sunshine. I'll see you soon and until next time, enjoy your not Thursday.